this lecture, we'll look at these two examples. The first one is to write vector negative 2, 3 in the form like this. What are, what's the meaning of those things? Huh? First, we need to know i, this vector, is 1, 0. What's the meaning for 1, 0? That's right here. In this vector plane, here is i. x coordinate is 1, y coordinate is 0. Then you may guess that huh, j is 0, 1. Okay, that's correct. So x coordinate is 0, y coordinate is 1. So here is j. Here is i. Okay. All right. So you need to get a and b, then you are done. Now what? U is negative 2, 3. So you may agree that's negative 2, 0 plus 0, 3. Huh? Because 0 plus negative 2, negative 2, and then 0 plus 3, positive 3. And then you may pull two out. You know that's one zero and the three zero one. Huh. So you see the coefficient of times a vector. Uh, negative two times one is negative two. Negative two times zero is zero. Here is the same. Three times zero. 0, 3 times 1, 3. So what you get is what? Negative 2 times 1, 0 is i. Huh. Don't forget arrow. And then 3 times 0, 1 is j. So j, don't forget arrow. When you do the hand, handwriting, you always want to put an arrow above it. Okay, above the letter. In the book, they use a bold letter, huh? dark, thick. So that's the difference between the printing and handwriting. Okay, the second one is the one like this. Ask us to find a dot product. Okay, this is what? Dot in the middle, dot product. Dot product of vectors. Okay, so down here you will have a two negative four dot and then negative four three. How is dot product defined? You see, we know how to do one constant times another vector. Okay, constant times another vector and then add. But how about if you want to use one vector times another one? Dot. Okay, yeah, here is dot product. We may have a different product for two vectors. Okay. And probably in pre-calculus we don't touch that. But you know, here is the dot product. So how is this defined? It's defined in this way. 2 times negative 4. And negative 4 times 3. Well, you may think, hey, you forget about what? The arrow. No, I don't. Uh, for the dot product, first component times this 
first component. Second component times this second component. You add, okay? That's the thing. So the dot product is no more a vector, is what? Is a number, okay? So here 2 times negative 4, 8. And here is negative 12. Add together is negative 20. Okay, this is what? Number. So for the dot product, you won't get a vector, okay? So the product of vectors is not a vector, okay? Is what? Is a number, all right? Okay, I'll see you next time.